had this idea that answers are overrated. It doesn't mean we can't seek answers, but when we get an answer, it should really spark another question because life exists within the questions. And I spend a lot of my time also looking for answers and seeking and trying to find the, just the right answer until you realize that a lot of the people running around the world telling you, I have all the answers, they're the people who really don't have the answers. And questions, just look at the word question, contains the word quest, to quest, to, to seek knowledge. If an answer means I quit my quest, if I stop my quest, that means I've taken whatever knowledge I have, I've sealed it into a container, and in that tightly sealed container, any new knowledge that comes is just going to run down the sides of the container. And so I, I, I have as much as I've gotten. So we need to remain open and keep questioning and wondering, and so I encourage students to question things and ask why, and to come up with their own answers as to why they do something. In that is, is how we gain self-knowledge. Svadhyaya, self-study, is through this questioning. Yoga is built on that idea of questioning, asking questions, pursuing the answers. And what's an answer for me not, might not be for you. So, yeah, I, I say ask questions. But be prepared to also then go on the quest. Because it doesn't mean just you have the question and don't do anything. The question means it, it creates some kind of an action. And maybe you do pursue, is it an answer? Or you're pursuing more knowledge, more information, more depth. But answer doesn't mean the end. An answer is part of a bigger picture. An answer is one piece of a big puzzle to the bigger picture. 